Hello all, good morning. Travis Dampier of Travis Dampier Ministries, a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is Friday, uh, November 27th, um, day after uh, Thanksgiving. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I hope you guys, you know, honestly did get a chance to, to spend it with family. And uh, those of you that are Christians, I hope that you were able to plant a seed to say like, look, man, you know, this is, this is no more uh, uh, game playing time to be thinking that um, you're going to wait for the church to open up till you start finding God again. Um, God stripped that from you. So that way you can see and he could see and you could demonstrate an action. If you really are with him and for him, there are so many that have fallen away since the churches have closed because you thought church was a building. You thought God was your pastor and you still think God is your pastor. The only thing that you're linked to, to God um, is trying to hear a word. You haven't touched your Bible. To, matter of fact, you don't even got a Bible in your house. You go, well, you know, but but I got my phone. Come on, man. You, you, need, you need to get you a Bible in the house. You need to start reading the word. God left you a literal manual of his love and covenants and everything you need to do in order to get through this life. And you can see everything getting stripped from you, dude, that is a materialistic, temporal, non-eternal thing. And God is showing you this in love so that way you can see how unvaluable these things are in this life. So please get back to the source of your energy and hope. He is the vine and he's giving you the, the strength to be able to produce fruit. Without him, you can't produce fruit. You can do nothing. Without him, that's going to please the father. You can't. Nothing without him. And even without him, which he was really making a statement, he gives us the air to breathe. He helps our heartbeat. He gets our minds clear. Without him, you can't do nothing. Amen to that, man. I'll praise and honor to him. All right, let's get to, before we get to the word of the day, let's see what happened yesterday. Even with everything closed, things were popping off like crazy. Um, and most of the, the news was coming from Wednesday, which today, uh, uh, many businesses and stuff are open. So I believe we're going to see all kinds of things happen today, especially with the elections. Uh, I feel it in my gut um, that something is going to overturn today. And when something overturns today, civil unrest starts today. And when civil unrest starts today, then through the rest of the weekend, the military is going to get shot out, dude. And then once we are occupied with that, that's when uh, China, Russia, you know what I mean, and um, Iran are going to strike us. All right. that, that's just that's my timeline of what, what I think. Um, and, uh, you know, the Lord has given me some some wording on that. And it really seems like that's the way it's going to go. Uh, but hey, it could happen any um, any kind of way. But it has been foretold, which I still believe at my core that we will get struck. And this is not just some people orchestrated. This is God himself orchestrating judgment on Babylon. You've rejected God. You've rejected everything from him. And he's going to take everything from you. Unless you repent that you may get to know him, your Lord and Savior and creator of all things. Recognize him as the sovereign, living, most high God and only God. Then you will be saved. Hallelujah. All right. So the military, our military, U.S. military, is aware of the heightened war threat from China. They're, they're getting prepared all through the Pacific because they know it's coming. They must have intel. They, they know what's coming. Um, we had um, in Canada what they call the uh, snowmageddon because, man, the snow was just so powerful. Dude, winds at like 80, 90 miles per hour blowing this thing. I mean, crazy in this time of year, this kind of snowstorm is hitting out there. It's super powerful. Um, we had on Wednesday, um, Sydney Powell filed lawsuits in Michigan and Georgia. She definitely released the Kraken. She gave up every single thing that showed corruption in the government with solutions. And the solutions that we saw that they're recommending in Pennsylvania, they're recommending it in Georgia, they're recommending it in Wisconsin, um, is that 
um, because these ballots were illegal, they don't want them to count those electoral votes at all in the uh, presidential uh, vote, which could happen. Or it also says or push their electors to vote for Trump. I think the only way that they're going to do something fair is to say, you know what? Our, this looks corrupted. What's happened in our state? We're not even going to give up our electoral votes. And once those mission critical states are done, yep, Trump wins. Just like that. But we'll see. I don't know how they're going to do it, but we'll see. Um, got a huge solar blast you know, coming our way. We've already had a couple. That's where we're seeing these big earthquakes all over. This is not just recently that this happened. This has been happening for months. We've been having hundreds of earthquakes per day all over the world every day for months. God has been given every warning he can through natural occurrences, through his uh, watchmen, through prophets. He's done everything. And people still, many, are rejecting him. They just think it's normal. <laughs> this is super abnormal. Um, it's crazy uh, what you got to do. So, so God has already spoken through another watchman and already stated that um, because of your hard hearts and that you don't want to listen, he said the only way you're going to listen is with action. So he's going to produce action. Now, it's a sad day when you got to get struck down, you know what I mean, because you won't listen, but he's going to do it. So turn now, turn your turn your head now, repent, repent, get out of his worldly stuff right now. You don't want to be part of what judgment hits the world. Whatever judgment hits the world, it hits the world and everybody who loves it. So don't love the world. He's warned you many times. All right. <laughs> L.A. County shuts off power for Thanksgiving. So if you're in L.A. and you had more than, I believe, six people or something, whatever it was in your house or some big Thanksgiving party, they're going to shut off your power and water. <laughs> That's the world that you are living in now and it's going to get worse. Soon what will happen, since they're already logging into your ring, they're logging into your uh, uh, Amazon video feeds all through the house, they see you're breaking stuff. As they start to tell you, you got to wear a mask in your house and basically do jumping jacks. When they say do jumping jacks and say Simon says, when you they say Simon says and you don't do it, oh, dude, you will get a knock on your door from the feds and they're going to strip you out of your house, dude, and then they are going to take you to a camp and you will never be seen again. <laughs> that's, that's soon what's going to be taking place. Um, and speaking about that, that's what they're doing in Berlin. And it's very interesting, you know, right out of Germany. I'm shocked that they would even do such a thing. But they are, um, they have opened up six mass COVID vaccination, quote unquote, centers. COVID vaccination centers. Berlin aims to open six centers with the capacity to vaccinate up to 4,000 people per day. Centers or camps? I think they're camps, people. These aren't, these aren't centers. They're camps. Oh, Germany with camps again. <laughs> Do you see where we're at? Do you see where we're at? It's, it's, dude, go look at the new Google search it. No one's, no one's um, complaining. No one's uh, debating it. And they're going to be injecting Nephilim, that Nephilim DNA in you and stripping the God gene from you like herds of cattle. They are going to take the human population, dude, and they're going to turn them into demons. Just like that. Just like that. They, they're, they're not messing around. Satan's not messing around. God is allowing it for those that have turned their heads from the almighty God and the one son that saved all humanity, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. It's tragic, dude. Tragic. Um, other thing is that, that's coming up. Uh, the next full moon is the cold moon, named all kinds of moons. The child moon is, is named all kinds of, okay, next full moon, cold moon, frost moon, winter moon, beaver moon, oak moon, moon before yule, child moon, Kartik Purnima, Kartika Deepam, and Tagzandine Festival moon, and Ilpoy. Dude, this moon that's coming up uh, November, 20, uh, November 30th is going to be watched all over the world. It is one of the most important um, eclipses as well 
that 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 uh, everyone is going to be keeping their eye on. It means a lot <laughs> to a lot of people. Um, God had given me a whisper about this uh, weeks ago, um, and and this is this is definitely a high rapture watch time. I um, just saw another video this morning on it where it views the timeline. You know what I mean? Where where we've had numerous uh, eclipses and how it aligns to Jesus Christ um, transformation. You know what I mean? Um, from the cross. So uh, very interesting. Very high rapture watch time. Um, we're almost at the end of 2020 and trust me, th this is the year of transition and the year of choice. Next year, 2021, that's judgment. Judgment begins. So you, you better get right now. The birth pains, do the baby's heads popping out. You know what I mean? And I'm telling you, um, we are expecting even more powerful things to, to come. Um, soon, you know, every birth pains thing was just like a, a woman is stronger, stronger, stronger. We've had very strong events, but um, there's gonna be something that hits very hard because that baby's about to pop out. You know, what I mean, just like I said, all right, we're almost at 12 minutes. Let me get to the verse of the day. Um, this is Colossians 3 16, and uh, I believe yesterday we were in Colossians as well, right in the same chapter. So I'm just gonna read the verse this time. The Lord is really pushing um, for people to be thankful for what he's doing. Uh, but let me read the verse. Uh, let the message about Christ in all its richness fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. He's talking here to, to, to Christians. And he's saying, like, look, man, you know, when, when God gives you a word, you know, he expects you to release that word, not to hold on to it. You know, I mean, this is the, when he gives you word uh, to, to, to nourish the saints, you know, to give them hope, you know, what I mean, to, to, to motivate them. You need to do that. Now, sometimes he gives you word for yourself. Don't get me wrong. But right now he's giving crucial word out. You know what I mean? So that way, you know, the saints can be uh, nourished and that they can have motivation. Um, all the saints need more and more injections of, of faith um, because, you know, I know for myself and, and others, we're going to attack left and right. You know what I mean? And this, you know, this is part of being a Christian, right? Um, Jesus said, no servant is greater than his master. If they, if they rejected me, they'll reject you. It's actually proof that you are a Christian. You know what I mean? If you weren't getting rejected, if people, if the world loved you and people loved you all around you and you have all kinds of friends and um, and you smell and look like the, 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 the world around you, you know, what do they say? You know, you look like a duck, smell like a duck, you must be a duck. You probably aren't a Christian. You probably aren't saved. Well, well, the trend, you know what I mean? I, I thought we were supposed to go in the dark places. Then <laughs> You ain't supposed to be like them. And the Lord says you should stay away from that type of stuff. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be around, you know what I mean, though. Now, you can plant a seed if they call you or something like that, but it doesn't mean you go to a nightclub and you're partying in a nightclub and you're a Christian and you're you're thinking that you're going to um, motivate, you know what I mean, them to, to turn to Christ. You're in their, their realm. They're looking at you like a fool. They're like, you're not supposed to be here. And they're going, you're like us. So you, you need to identify who you are, you know what I mean, in Christ. And if you are one of those that smell like the world, look like the world, do all of the worldly things, and then when you hear uh, someone like me, you know what I mean, talking, or you hear uh, uh, someone else telling you what time frame that we're in, and they're talking about the book of Revelation and the God's uh, a God of justice and all these things, and he's going to strike down America and all these things, and you're turning your head going, oh, my God wouldn't do that. You're right. Your God wouldn't do that because Jesus Christ is not your God. He never knew you because you don't know him. So you need to get right with Christ. You need to get right um, with Jehovah Elohim and understand who he is. Um, thinking that he's just, you know, what I mean, this little baby Jesus that, you know, what I mean, doesn't have any strength. You're you're lying to yourself. You don't know. him. You don't know. him. He's a general. He's a strategic general. Um, he's very militant. You know what I mean? And also, you know what I mean? He's a great judge. You know what I mean? He, he does all of this stuff in love, but he doesn't mess around. Man. He expects obedience. He expects it. If we are the body of Christ, which we are, and he is the fullness of the body, when he gives a direction to his finger, this finger better move. My finger better move when I tell it to move. If it doesn't move, 
man, I might work on it a little bit and try it. But if it doesn't move after I've tried to work it, you know, crack my knuckle, you know, do some uh, 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 exercise with it and it, it doesn't work, I'm going to cut it off. I can't get gangrene on this thing and then it pollutes the rest of my whole hand, right? I mean, this is natural talk and you understand it. Why is it that you can't understand it when it's spiritual talk? So Jesus Christ will give you the order of what to do and you better get it done. That's it. That's it. Uh, well, Jim, I thought we had free choice. Like, what kind of God wants us to come here and, serve, and we can just do everything he says? <sighs> yeah, God <laughs> himself. He has an expectation for you. Someone created this laptop with the objective that it could type, it could hold apps on it, that it could do videos like this. That's what the purpose of a laptop is. This laptop is not going to tell me that it was designed um, to bark like a dog. I'm going to say, no, you're a laptop. You don't bark like a dog. We have dogs. We created dogs to, to bark like dogs and to be dogs. You're a laptop, so you need to do what a laptop does. Laptop is supposed to uh, do this and that. So us as humans, we are designed to be like Christ. That's why we were created, to be like Christ, that we can praise him, that we can worship him, that the Lord had someone of himself, you know what I mean, that could walk around that he could commune with and have a relationship with and, you know, and just love on us. You know, think about your own children, you know what I mean, like your own children, like, yes, you don't force them to do everything, right? You give them choice, but you guide them from the time that they were born into the right things that they should do so they don't hurt themselves or kill themselves. There's an enemy prowling called the devil, wanting to kill, steal, and destroy. Everything that God does for you, he does that in love and to protect you from hurting yourself, from hurting others, and from getting killed by a demonic entity in the heavens that wants to take you out. Stop fighting God, blowing uh, um, life into you. You literally have drowned and he's trying to revive you and you're pushing his hand away. You're pushing his mouth away. He said, I'd rather be dead. And that's where you are right now. Your soul is dead. And in order to get it reunited with God again, you have to be reborn. How do you be reborn? By claiming the free gift of Jesus dying on the cross for your sins as the last holy, innocent sacrifice for sin for all of mankind. He was then buried. Um, he, he rose again on the third day and now stands at the right hand of the Father interceding for you in order that he can pick us up this soon coming day, hallelujah, that blessed hope that we would escape evil and escape God's judgment. Bless his holy name, hallelujah, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. He is and always will be God, amen. Okay, people, I'm going to give you your time back to you. Have a good rest of the week and keep watching today. Today is going to be a very interesting day, as I mentioned. God bless you and your Lord. God bless you and yours. Shalom. All right.